I actually went on the web and looked at you on uh, the Cosby show. Like, you're there with Theo in the crowd. Sure. And it's a small role, but at the time, it probably seems like the biggest oh, start in the world. Giant, yeah. And did your family start to really go, wow, he's really making Maybe it. Maybe he he's can make Cosby. it in this business. I, my no. mother always thought I was fine. My, uh-huh. my father was the guy who he'd say, if you don't make it by 23. Yeah. <laughs> Get I want you to I want you to work for me or is insur- he thought I would s- sell insurance uh-huh. or it did sound my he knew my brother my brother's four years older than me right and he kind of knew my brother would take care of me somehow he didn't know what my brother was going to do but how did so. you get that job uh, when you were at NYU how did you get the job I, on the Cosby show Anthony Quinn's son Lorenzo yeah he was in my acting class and I was very friendly with Lorenzo and he, and Anthony Quinn and Cosby were buddies uh-huh. and so Lorenzo said just out of nowhere I'm gonna get pop to talk to Bill Cosby to, to see you do stand up. Wow. And and he didn't see me the cast he sent the casting director down, Barry Moss, who was ended up being my manager for a while and right. a very nice guy and he brought me in and somehow the uh I was goofy enough they and they wrote me a goofy part. And that's a big break, right? I mean that get was, on that was like the number one show in the world. It was a giant thing. And yeah. suddenly you're on there. And here's a story I heard. When you were on yeah. the Cosby show, yeah. because Chris Rock idolized Bill Cosby so yeah. much, you would yeah. bring him down with you to We used to, to hang out there. To hang out. He he was crazy Rock though. Even then he he got somehow I was doing the show, he got to warm up the crowd. Right, uh-huh. the, the, the usual warm-up guy right. didn't oh, show up. Did he up. tell you this? No, I'm, I know about oh, it. Oh, you do? Okay. He didn't show up. Right, right, right. And because he's hanging out with you, they say, hey, you're a comedian, right. warm up the crowd. Right. Did you hear what he did? Go ahead. He, 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 <laughs> he gets a couple of giant laughs, and I'm like, oh, boy, the cause is going to see Rock kill. And he, yeah. he was like 19 or something, 20 right. years old. And you're like, wow, Rock's about to be Rock, discovered. Rock's about Cosby to knock me all, out and right. take over my gig, man. <laughs> right. And then, Dumb uh, move bringing him down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, no, I was happy right. for the kid, but, right. but he, um, he just says something about Bill Cosby and the place of applause, and he says something like, Create, I, I don't know, something like the most racist character of all time is Mushmouth. <laughs> and starts doing Mushmouth. And the crowd, even the crowd was kind of like, what, what the what? fuck? <laughs> You're in the causes. Where house, are you man. going with this? But he, he, he had balls his whole, whole so, career. So he's in Cos's house. He yeah, says he that is. Cosby has created the most racist character, so, Mushmouth. I don't remember what went on after that, but I remember kind of icy <laughs> feeling and people being mad, mad that I brought him. Oh. Yeah, all of a sudden that, the blowback is on yeah, you. A little bit. You're like, yeah. oh, Rock, what did you do? Did you, did you pull him aside? Listen, I got a, a, a small gig what here. What are you doing? I, do, I, don't, I, do, I think even hmm. Rock's eyes were in a daze after, too. Just like, <laughs> like, what did that? I do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 